my goodness. I just clicked out of KG Tropical live stream. Those guys. Uh, I love those guys. Uh, hashtag 3000. I love you guys too. Thanks for coming over from the KG Tropicals live stream. The house is full. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is awesome. I, I was able to post one, one time in the chat over there at KG Tropicals, and it was just to let him know that um, my heart was so full of joy, my eyes started leaking. So I brought the, uh, thank you, Pam. Uh, I've, I brought the uh, onion peeling safety glasses in case that happens again. Uh, 54 Punchy Super Mod here in the community tank mentioned I should step away from the onions. All right, she is. But sometimes it's okay. You know, you got to you gotta leak a little bit sometimes. That's just the way it is. Let's see who we've got here in the chat room. I'm just going to, I'm going to pick out some names here and just say hello. Mike Jodway, hashtag 3000, 54 Punchy with the Blue Wrench. Uh, the Fish Tank Barn, $20 Super Chat. Thank you so much, Mike. Congratulations on reaching that milestone. He says, thanks for all your help last week. We'll never forget it. Well, good, Mike. I don't want anybody to ever forget you. You're a fantastic community member. You're doing so much with a two-story fish room you made out of a yard barn. So much work and effort went into that, and you're taking the extra time to share it with us. You're breeding saltwater fish, in addition to all of the freshwater goodies. <laughs> you're traveling with your fish in your car 14 hours to enter fish shows. No one's more deserving of a little bit of recognition than you, so certainly glad to help and be a part of Team the Fish Tank Barn. You, you go, Mike. Don't look back. Don't stop. And guys, let's continue to help all these awesome people. Hey, Petzotics, uh, that are part of our community. Pam, um, 54 Punchy, the Art of Fish Keeping, recently reached the 1,000 sub club also. And uh, we were also instrumental in that, just saying, hey, Pam needs 1,000 subs, guys. Anybody can help out. It would be much appreciated. And you did. You guys are great. You're awesome, Caleb's Aquatics. Is the volume better now, Caleb, since I started talking into the mic? I can turn it up here. All right. Okay, there we go. If it's too loud, someone wave. So, anyway, we're just we're a great bunch of people. I guess uh, maybe Kaler's Aquatics, another super mod here in the community tank. Hey, Daryl Deemer, talking about super mods. I just looked over and saw your name. How are you, bro? Uh, Bob Kaler of Kaler's Aquatics also. He may be the most recent member of the thousand sub club certainly deserving no one more supportive uh of the community that i know of than bob kaler a pillar of the community i like to say about um okay lisa nj says much better thank you and good good to see you here aquariums maintained by andy dropping a two dollar super chat need that print behind you well we'll go ahead and mention that since you super chatted uh aquariums maintained by andy that's a an original by multi-tank addiction my friend chris who's a talented artist and i have many of his stickers included in the sticker jam if you send me a self-addressed stamped envelope to the uh, post office box you'll get some river life stickers and some multi-tank addictions and while i reached over here not to mention some fish room fever stickers james sent me some of those to share with you guys thank you james thank you chris this is available on the multi-tank addiction website as a print and part of the proceeds when you buy it from chris's website go to Project Piaba. Very proud supporter of Chris and Project Piaba. And isn't that piece lovely in our live stream? Allie Patton dropping a $10 super chat. Allie says, we all heart you, Rack and Mrs. Riverlife. Hashtag 3000. We love you right back, Allie. It's this type of encouragement that fuels us all. It hits us when we need it. And it helps us going. Uh, I mean, it's like a gas in a car. You don't go far if you're out of gas. And that encouragement is definitely fuel. And you're one of the best encouragers around, Allie Patton. Thank you so much for that super chat. Sand Creek Aquatics loves the drawing. Griffin Fish Room saying hello to Scotty. Hey, Scotty G. I'll say it too. Hey, Scotty G66. Just Shrimp Granny in the house. Oh, my gosh. Talk about a superhuman. Gets in her car, goes to the Fish Fam 
in need and says, yeah, we'll, we'll take your fish and rescue them. We'll drive for hours and hours. She, she's bad as Jess Shrimp Granny. Great people here. Holy cow. IFG is in the house with a big red $100 super chat. And he says, Merry Xmas rack. Well, Merry Xmas right back at you, IFG. And thank you for dropping the $100 super chat. I don't know if you've ever been in our chat before, but you're welcome. Thanks for dropping in. It's good to see you. I hope you can hang around. Candy Overhaul says, thank you, Pam. Lurking, I'll be back. Candy, lurk away. I know you've been working all night over there in KG Tropical's live stream. And I want to say before you go that you did an awesome job as a guest on that live stream. I mean, phenomenal. Um, it's, I know you were nervous. It was your first one. You and Caleb, you were, were amazing. And I know you said you were one and done. But it would be spectacular if you would do that on occasion. I know John, um, he had some experience with you, long-term history between you guys, and you did it as a favor. You did so well. And certainly, if you're ever available to appear on a live stream again, I would love to have you on my live stream. But that's not pressure. That's not an invitation to say, hey, can we get candy? That's just if you decide you'd like to appear again, you're certainly welcome here anytime. You're, you're welcome, Candy. You're so welcome. Okay, we got Priscilla MK Art in the room. <clears throat> Priscilla, how are you doing? Um, you're so kind to keep showing up, even though I was supposed to have sent you an email several days ago, and I still haven't done it. And I, we're losing because I'm not. I'm going to have to exchange that L for a W, so I may have to do that. I'll draft that. <clears throat> later tonight and I wait, may wait in the morning to proof it and get it out but I'm slacking I'm sorry thank you for your continued support in spite of my procrastination big J's fish keeper in the house what's going on aquarium hobbyist for life thank you so much I appreciate the compliment he says great job river life Chattanooga Ed money falling out of his pocket ten dollar super chat and agrees with me and says candy is the best Candy says, thank you, Chattanooga Ed. Well, Chattanooga Ed, it takes the best to know the best. You're the best, too. Candy, definitely the best. Chattanooga Ed, you're the best. I love seeing you, by the way, Chattanooga Ed, on Fish Room Fever live stream. You, know, you guys do a good job over there. Nadia SFX says, Merry Christmas, Rack. Merry Christmas to you and everyone. Shelby, did I see? Yeah, Shelby Ray Lane. Saying hi, you see 23. Appreciate your support on all of my videos, Shelby. You swing through to show some encouragement. I really appreciate that. Okay, Bob's having technical difficulties. That's okay, Kaler's Aquatics. Do what you got to do over there. It's good to see you, pal. All right. We are rocking. I need to see some numbers here. Like, how many people do we have? Hung Chow uh, coming through with the $5 super chat. I don't know. I didn't refresh before we went live. So if someone can post the number of people in here, the number of likes to give me a heads up, I'd really appreciate that. Hung Chow says, Missed the days when hashtag was just a pound sign you pushed on a telephone. Moved here 20 years ago, but still strange how that symbol has changed. I'm telling you, digitization changed everything and everybody. Here we are, hashtagging words and stuff. Um, I'm, oh, where'd that, yeah, thank you. Someone let that comment through. Aquarium Hobbies for Life says, River Life has some of the best subscribers. Every time I view a live stream, I get more subs myself. That's what it's all about. You guys, check out these wonderful people in here. Check out some of their work, their talent. They're laying it down. They're giving up hours of their life to share things with you. Give them a little support. I mean, a little more. Obviously, you're giving... Lots of support. I saw something in the chat. and I'm, Oh, the Hung Chow, $5. I wanted to make sure I said thank you for that. The what? The king of DIY with a Canadian $139.99 super chat. This is a personal best, having Joey <laughs> in the house. How's it going? Joey from Canada, the king of DIY. Um, I don't know if he, this guy's a platform builder. Joey is. I mean, even if it occurs to you originally... 
and you're not trying to copy Joey, he's probably already done it. So uh, he's the guy, if you're doing a project, you wanna put him on your resource list. Go to his channel, search the project you're looking at, see if he's done it, how he did it. And uh, sometimes he'll show you three ways to do what you're trying to accomplish. So Joey, thank you so much for the $139.99 super chat. Thanks for being in the chat. Um, I hope you can hang around and enjoy yourself. Uh, Q Aquatic says, Rack, you're amazing. Well, you're amazing, Q. That's maybe overstated, but I appreciate it. It sounds good. <laughs> Big Jay's Fish Keeper giving Joey thumbs up and waves. Yeah. It, 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 we're big time now, Community Tank. King of DIY is here. Science Gal Aquatics. Thanks, at the King of DIY. Indeed, sir. And Ann Thornton from across the pond says, wow, King of DIY. Joey makes a splash. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that guy's been at this for a long time. Pioneer. Daniel Boone took 30 axemen to cut across the Cumberland Gap. Joey kind of just hauled off and did this years ago and got on that rocket ship to the moon. Raised the bar for all of us. Thank you for doing that, Joey. Taylor's Aquatics in here with what? He, <laughs> he got his cell phone fired up. And Bob Kaler just dropped a $99.99 super chat. Kaler's Aquatics, I mean, is there a better supporter of the fish fam? Is there a better support? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I know this. If we were actually able to determine that, he would be a contestant. He would be a contender. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. I've never heard the guy ask for anything. He's just always pitching in. He's just always helping. Congratulations again, Bob. We've mentioned it um, on your uh, milestone. A thousand subscribers. You're in the thousand sub club. I think that's, uh, for me anyway, it was really spectacular to work so hard for so long and then eventually end up with a thousand subs, a little bit of recognition, the potential of getting your channel monetized. Some reason it felt really good and I can't think of another uh, a more deserving person than you, Bob, to enjoy that, that feeling of accomplishment. Getting an echo over here. I'm going to have to take care of some business. There we go. So thank you, Bob, for the $99 super chat. And here comes um, Chattanooga Ed with another $10, just echoing. Bob is the man. Thank you, Ed, for the super chat. We certainly agree. I'm looking at the top of my chat screen. It's a red ribbon across through there. Bob Kaler, $99.99. Joey, King of DIY, $139.99. IFG, $100. Amazing generosity. Thank you all. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Anna's Hobby says, you missed a $5 super chat from Priscilla. Well, totally possible. And thank you so much for mentioning that. Anna's Hobbies. Man, I so appreciate it. Let me go back and get that. I can't go back that far, of course. Kim, oh, Priscilla, you're the MVP. Still love you. No rush. <laughs> you just gave me a, a forgiveness, and I missed your super chat. Oh, gosh. Oh, Priscilla. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't deserve you as a friend. But thank you for being so sweet and kind. And Anna's, thank you very much for pointing that out to me. Multi-tank addictions in the house. Uh, our friend Chris, who's the artist, um, someone could put his website up there where you can get one of these prints of the Project Piaba Cardinal Tetra and part of the uh, profits will go to Project Piaba to help people understand how they can buy a fish and save a tree. Our hobby is helping protect the rainforest, which is sustaining our hobby. Win, win, win. I love that thing. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. The King of DIY says, Merry Christmas. We met in Dallas. Always liked you since. Certainly did. Uh, my wife and I got a chance to, to speak with Joey, and uh, he was so kind. Um, uh, answered questions. You know, I was still kind of a rookie, and he was at the top of the heap just mixing it up with all the folks. So... It was a great time around some food, around an aquarium conference, lots of cool things. I think the science gal was out, was there with us. The science gal hung right in there with us. 
IFG says Rack is a genuine dude. I love Rack. Well, I love you too, IFG. Thank you very much for saying that. Uh, and I've met you at a couple of these fish events. Once I was driving down the road. Oh my gosh. <laughs> KG Tropicals, like Santa Claus, coming down the chimney, has said $205 super chat. John, have you lost your mind? And it just says, at Hung Chow, challenge accepted. So Hung Chow, I guess, threw down a gauntlet and KG Tropicals picked it up and said, oh, here, you dropped something. <laughs> John, that's amazing. I was just telling my story about my wife and I driving down the road in Dallas and we hear someone yell, River Life, and I turned around, that's IFG. Uh, the Fish Room Fever says $20. $20 super chat. Sorry, can't compete. Love you all. There's no competition, James. James, you are a hardworking YouTuber, and that $20 means a lot to me. Thank you very much. I've heard you mention you work in retail, and I've done that, and there's not much harder work than I have done. So thank you for sharing that with us. And you, my man, are jamming on the platform. I think... I had some notes here, whatever those are worth. I'd lost those over when John and Lisa made me cry with their heartfelt sentiment. I kind of went off the menu, but it wasn't too many. A couple of weeks ago, I had a note here. Fish Room Fever had 505 subs. He's probably over 650 now. Is that right? Oh, check out Hung Chow. $200 from Hung Chow. I think my internet is broken. That's why I'm missing these super chats. Holy smokes. Somebody give this man more. I dare you. Hung Chow threw down a gauntlet. He said, here's 200 bucks, pal. And that's when John from KG Tropicals came in with $205 and said, no, nah, I call you and I raise you five. That's amazing, you guys. That's absolutely amazing. Hung Chow. Oh, my gosh. That's his guppy salad fund i'm i'm honored thank you hung chow <laughs> he's gonna be on a guppy diet storm riders aquatics hello river life rack what's going on storm riders how are you doing it's hard to keep up with you storm riders because your screen name changes on the reg that's all right though that's if that's the way you want to do it you you do you man that's cool Caleb's Aquatic says, at IFG, he does rock. Uh, I, I, IFG says, you're the man, Rack. Well, you're the man too, IFG. Thank you very much for saying that. I like your uh, uh, on-the-road videos. You took me, where did we go? Um, not literally, but you went to a fountain store. I love that video. So lots of cool pottery. Well, and I don't know, you guys know, if you've seen the 75-gallon I've been bragging about. I put pottery inside the aquarium as part of the hardscape. So it was really cool when all that was in the plans. IFG released a video uh, going to a fountain store where they had lots of statuary and, and outdoor water fountains. Really cool stuff. Lots of inventory. Susan from SLC Aquatics is in the house. Merry Christmas to River Life and Wifey. And to you and Rod also, Susan. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Fish Tropics is in need of some Canadian cuisine, aren't we all? Can we get seven more likes for 100? Okay, that's probably the fastest we've ever got 100 likes in here also. Thank you guys. Sharing the love. You guys are awesome. Okay, I'm just going to take a glance at the notes. Can you see my eyes are still red? should have eye dropped them. I can put these glasses on if that's distracting. But I mean, John... He, He's going to talk about his favorite YouTube channels. And he just, he, I mean, you, you would have thought that I was Mr. Rogers or something. He kept going on. And it was just touching to hear somebody say something about you like that. And it was pretty awesome, John. I, I, I would put more words to that, but I'm still kind of on the edge. You know what I mean? All right. Paul Jones says, we just passed 100 likes. Fish Tropic says, round up to 100 for rack. Thank you, guys. Thank all of you guys. I want to make sure I didn't have some important notes here. I did want to know 
Um, I wanted you guys, I wanted to put some chum out there for you guys to talk about. I wanted to throw, this is the chum. I put it out there on top of the water. You guys nibble on it for as long as we're on the air. It's 1050 now. Something comes to mind even after we're finished talking about it. Go ahead and throw it up in chat. But the chum I wanted to get us talking about was what's your dream tank? What's your dream tank? Um, Let's see. Priscilla MK Art said, Rack is one of the most caring and giving individuals I've met. So it's great to see the community giving it back to Rack. Make sure to call him the MVP. (laughs) I just don't deserve friends like you, Priscilla. But that was an amazing thing to say. And I appreciate you sharing it with everyone. Oh, wow. Your dream tank. Joey was in here. You know, oh my gosh. Thousands of gallons. Right? Fish that are feet long. What's your dream tank? And I, I know I've got one. I got a dream tank. But thinking about that, it's not just a fantasy. You know, I broadcast last week from Raleigh, North Carolina. We were on the road. Did the big giveaway, by the way. Congratulations. I got the prize mailed out. Appreciate you guys showing up for that. So the speaker at the North Carolina State graduation gave an address that was Simple yet eloquent, you know, the type that I just dig, that just really resonates. It gets you, hits you right where you want it to. So the speaker was talking about, he was a retired professor with um, pretty steep credentials. He, he was well-loved, well-thought-of, super intelligent, of course. <clears throat> so he said... Looking back over his journey, I immediately clicked into community mode. We're all on a journey. Every one of us is somewhere. He said, looking back on his journey, some of the things he saw, and the first thing he said, and I've never heard anyone say this, looking back on his journey, the first thing he saw were all the dreams that came true. And I, you know, I'll get goosebumps again. I'm, I'm an old sappy guy. So... I just thought, you know what? You got to have dreams in order for dreams to come true. And sometimes we're afraid to share dreams. And I, I'm an old guy. One of the things that helps me to overcome personal fears is encouragement. You know, someone kind of egging you on. You can do it. You can do it. And so it's with encouragement. That's you know, that's the whole personal philosophy. If you boiled it down to one word here, it's encouragement. This guy saw in his rearview mirror dreams that came true. I believe the more we encourage each other, the more dreams that we have. The more dreams we have, the higher the likelihood, more dreams will come true. And when our individual dreams start coming true, there's a win for the whole. The greater good is served. If Joey's dream was to get a million subs and he was encouraged and he achieved his goal, we're all still winning on this platform. We're, we're all here winning on this platform. So when we encourage each other, we're paving the street to drive a dream down. And this guy was saying these words, and I was thinking about sharing something about what I was feeling with you guys, and that's what I came up with. So teamwork makes the dream work. That's the cliche. And I just had it explained to me in a different way in that graduation address. So I brought, I brought that tonight. That's, that's what I wanted to say to you guys. IFG says, well, Cedric, I commend you. Thank you, IFG. And that is just how I feel. It's who I am. It's what I want to do. I haven't always felt that way, you know, um, and I'm not stuck in the mud now. I'm continuing to evolve as a person and grow. And I really, I don't want to be where I am right now in five years. I want to take all of this experience and I want to squeeze out all the good and all the education and all the experience. And I want to add that to who I am. And then um, as I get older, I'm finding that I really enjoy sharing more, giving more, you know, got the family raised, got the kids running around, making grandkids, uh, 
Got some my time on my hands. You know what I'm saying? So everyone is somewhere. Every one of us, we're somewhere. And we're all headed somewhere. And it seems like to me the best use of our resources is just to help each other get where we're going. Not to make it make someone else do it my way, come where I'm going. Well, that's fun too. Hey, look at my pictures from the vacation. You should check it out. Don't get me wrong. But if they're headed someplace else, I mean, hey, let's help them go where they're going. They might go over there where we weren't going and have a great time and share with us that enhances our life somehow. And in my mind, what I just said is crystal clear. <laughs> I haven't even glanced up at chat. You guys may be lost <laughs> and, and checking out of here. I don't know. D-Max comes in with Canadian 3499. Thank you, D-Max. I don't recognize your name. Nice to meet you. Thanks for being here. And certainly for the 3499 Super Chat. He says, thank you, Rack, for your ongoing positivity and your support of the hobby. Well, everyone has something. And this is what I have. This is what I bring. This is what I do. I'm so glad you're here for me to share it with. Pet Zotic's dropping a $5 super chat and says, My dream tank is at least 350 gallons planted with angels and discus. Wow. Um, that could be my dream tank. That sounds beautiful. I've definitely got my eye on that larger tank, which I don't have any problem calling a monster tank. Certainly in my world, 350 gallons plus is a monster tank. And Angels and Discus, uh, if you've been around for a minute, you know that River Wife is really fond of the angelfish. So we're going to be having some angelfish. That's, that's going to happen. Okay, so you got the chum out there you guys are talking about. If that popped, I'm sorry. I gave you a little bit of uh, insight. Wow, it was a good night. I'm, I'm glad that John and Lisa over at KG Tropicals got me charged up with all that emotion so I could tell you about that graduation address that I heard. James Hand is here. Hey, uh, James, I got the package out. I don't know if you've received it yet, but congratulations. James was our winner in the big giveaway last week. I got that thing in the mail. Oh, I see, I see. He said... Jim had to pick up our daughter. He got your package. So this is Mrs. James Hand, I suppose. He loved the coal. The coal was the gag gift you could give your aquarium friend, a bag of activated charcoal for a fish fam friend, a fish keeper that's been, uh, you want to put him on the naughty list, you can give him a bag of coal. Rockford Fish Keeping in the house, he says, what's the smallest tank I can do for breeding a pair of blood red jewels in a 20... Is a 20 gallon too small? Somebody help him out in chat. I have no idea. Blood red jewels. Is a 20 gallon too small? Somebody help him out. R Recon 338 says, King of DIY was the first channel I ever watched also. I'm sure the chat's full of stories just like that. I'm sure of it. That was someone's gateway. They, they came to the platform. They found Joey's um, videos and they started learning stuff. Probably started building their own fish rooms. Uh, interesting story, local story. A friend of mine retired from the New York City Police Department to the mountains of Tennessee here. It's really beautiful. Small towns. And opened a bagel shop, New York-style bagel shop. And um, so I just happened to overhear him one day talk about fish keeping. And I said, yeah, I've kept fish most of my life i'm starting a youtube channel oh do you know uh, joey and i said i'm familiar with his body of work at that time we hadn't met and he said i built some 90 gallon plywood aquariums in my basement and i'm gonna fill them up with discus wow so that was years ago and he's still keeping fish in his 90 gallon plywood tanks that he built like joey taught him to on the platform so this platform is influential some individuals are more influential than others but this platform where we all come we come to the the house the youtube house for free we consume content we leave feedback and hopefully we bend the needle toward the good we we figure out things for ourselves and others we contribute to the community to make it a better place How many people are here? I was going to, I had a nice number to throw in there. I mean, a spot for a number, but I can't see the numbers. 
I'm a, uh, such a professional. <laughs> My screen says eight likes. That's that's where we were when when I clicked in. Okay, um, I've got a special guest in the studio. Uh, are you a special guest? Okay, he he needs just a second. But yeah, so we've got a house full of guests. It's been a wonderful Christmas season. I mean, I uh, went to my parents' house last night, and all of their kids were there, and all the kids' kids were there, and their great-great-grandchildren were there. Wonderful family. I'm so blessed. I mean, that was Christmas. It was just, it was beautiful. So uh, my son is staying with us uh, for a few days, and he's, um, he's an Army guy. He's on active duty in Alaska. That's the Great White North. And uh, actually, he's an Arctic survival uh, instructor right now. Uh, his MOS officially is a medic. He's an Army combat medic. Uh, he's pulled a tour in Iraq. And we don't get to see him so much anymore because Alaska is a long way away. I've been over there a couple times. It's pretty awesome. We go fly fishing and rock collecting and bird watching. Pretty cool. Eclectic food in Alaska. You wouldn't expect that. So he's here. You want to pull up a chair? We're going to call him River Sun tonight. You want another name? Nope. Okay, River Sun it is. Yep. yep. Let me get you in here. Say hello to River Sun, everybody. Hello, everyone. Yep. So, can they call you Sarge? <clears throat> No, Nate doesn't want to start. We're, we're off duty. Come on. Yeah. Get out of here with that. Can you can you guys hear him? Put that out there. Say hello and see if they can hear you. Can you guys hear me? See your mic level right here? Yep. I think you're sounding good. Good. Yeah, you're looking good. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Absolutely. Good River to be here. sun, yeah. So um, we've had record warm temperatures here. It's 60s yeah. in the mountains of Tennessee the day after Christmas. What's it like in Alaska? Cold in the negatives, I believe. How far in the negative? Uh, I think double digits. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. How long have you been out there now? Uh, right around two years. Have you seen a Yeti? No Yetis yet. Do you believe they're out there? Yes. Oh, that's cool. Do you think they're savage beasts? Are they kind of friendly, smart? What's up with those guys? I think any animal can be tamed if you really want to. Hmm. You can be friends with anybody. Maybe not friends, but uh, Communi cohab cohabitants. Community members? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Each, each contributor. You're, you're a community-minded guy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You've, you've influenced my change toward community in my older age. Your your generation was much different than mine, mm -hmm. and and you know the high school years. Yeah. Did you realize that that you were influencing me? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, some of the ideas you had back then uh, were very strange to me, and I didn't understand them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did Did you know that? I I would assume so <laughs> at this point. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I've come around to your way of thinking. <laughs> It tur turns out you had some pretty good ideas, but they were foreign to me, mm -hmm. and I had to I had to chew on it for a little while. Sure. Yeah, but now I I try it out, you know, out there in the real world. It's like, oh, yeah. maybe maybe he was on to something. Yeah. Yeah. Got a two dollar super chat here from Hung Chow. He says, "Hello, River Sun. Thank you so much for your service." Oh, thank you, Hung Chow. Hung Chow's a good friend of ours. He likes to eat salads. Very uh, nice. With, uh, you know, guppies on them. Oh, wow. Yeah, we don't encourage him, but hey, he's, <laughs> he's on his path. I've never heard of that before. No, I haven't either. Uh, I tried sardines. Maybe it's like sardines, yeah. I wouldn't want to know. I, I, I just don't. Sure. Hey, Lisa from KG Tropicals is here. Um, KG Tropicals, I went to their house and I was on their live stream. Mm -hmm. We've become great friends. They did a live stream tonight and named their top five each, mm -hmm. John and Lisa, YouTube channels. And John named me, that weren't in any particular order, mm -hmm. but he named me the River Life channel first. And it made me cry a little bit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's, he went on, he said so many nice things. And these guys, 
Um, I mean, you can tell if you're just glancing at the chat. They're yeah. just a loving group of people. Yeah. And we share and we help and we encourage each other. It's really cool. Mm-hmm. And so I cried a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And now she's in the chat participating too. That's awesome. Yeah. So now, are you familiar with the chat? Um, not really, no. Okay, so these are the people that have just clicked into the live stream, mm-hmm. and they're chatting, saying things to me that, I, I'm sorry, guys, I'm not paying really good attention to the chat tonight, but they're talking amongst each other, too. Sure. And then they have the opportunity to just give us money. Yeah. And <laughs> and, and support, you know, hey, here's, here's some money. So, and then the larger the amount, the longer they stay up here. Okay. So these people with these big numbers. Oh, my. Yeah, this is IFG. He gave a hundred dollar super chat. This is Joey, the king of DIY YouTube channel. He's the biggest yeah. in our genre, yeah. over a million subscribers. Familiar with him? Uh, you, you know, you know yeah. Joey. Yeah. yeah, you didn't know I had a YouTube channel, probably. You right. knew Joey. Yeah. Well, good. That's yeah. good. <laughs> okay, and then we got Hung Chow. Uh huh. Wow. He gave us all of his guppy fun. <laughs> He's going to be going on a fast or something. <laughs> Two hundred dollars, yeah, and he challenged everybody, and so then John of KG Tropicals, after making me cry with his kind words, he says, "Oh yeah, big guy, wow. I see you, I, and I raise you five. That's so that's incredible. that's what that that red ribbon is up there. Thanks again, guys. Yeah. And then you know there's been so many others, and I, I don't know what to say. I mean, and what can you say? I don't know. Thank you. I, yeah." yeah. It's incredible. I don't know. Maybe they want to see me cry again. <laughs> it's ugly. You don't want to see it. <laughs> it's not ugly. It's beautiful. <laughs> I wasn't gonna. <laughs> I wasn't gonna argue. <laughs> oh, well. I tell you, I've been tough long enough. I'm done with tough. I, I did tough. Yeah. Did I do tough? Oh yeah. 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 You did tough. Yeah. They don't know that. They don't know. They don't see. I got the picture of me as an artist here. Mm-hmm. They just know the old softy. Yeah, and that's fine. That's the yeah. way. That's the man I've become. That's the man that has some things to share. Yeah. Did I see Twenty Fifth Infantry over here, Curtis Schindler? Are you part of the Twenty Fifth Infantry Division? I'm not. No. No. Are you familiar with the Twenty Fifth yes. Infantry? Yeah, no of them. Okay. Pretty tough guys, I bet. Who? Yeah. 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 Kaler's Aquatics. Bob Kaler, he's a pillar of the community. He's given the Project Piaba website. Awesome. That's yeah. This is their poster child, yeah. so to speak. It's beautiful. Chris, my friend of Multi Tank Addiction, did this original. Mm-hmm. He has prints of these on his website for sale, yep. and every time he sells one, he gives a portion of the proceeds to Project Piaba. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that. He's up next, by the way. Um, Fish Tube fans, the uh, Multi Tank Addiction is up next. With uh, a a nice live stream in store, I'm sure. Um, Kaler's Aquatics, uh, River Sun, uh, old Bob. Now he's a supporter. Now we 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 think a lot of what he says. Oh gosh, what do he say there? Can you see that? I've got my glasses on. No, I can't see you. You want me to get you a little closer? No, it's all right. You want him to say it again? No. Kaler's Aquatics said, "River Wife, you know River Wife. I do. Okay." She's a sweet lady. She is very sweet. She loves you so much. She says that River Sun should sing that he's good. And he'll super chat another hundred dollars if he sings. Okay. Now, so we don't want to be demonetized. Sure. So we probably ought to watch out for copyright violations. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> if if there's an original Uh, it's funny because we already know. Yeah. Um, if you want to go off camera and practice, mm, I don't know that's, that's going to help. We put you on the spot. <laughs> so, okay, I'm telling you, Sam, uh, uh, River Sun, you see the love. Mm-hmm. They have clearly demonstrated the love. Mm-hmm. I really think they just want to hear your thing that you sure. do give it to, and i think they'll be loving and understanding yeah yeah and I, and i would love to do that i just uh, I, I happen to have a a guitar over here yes yeah, sure is that a guitar it over is there? yeah it i is. i did bring a guitar in yeah um what what kind of encouragement do we need ken schindler wants to know fort wainwright or richardson 
it is. Uh, I, I, d- I don't mean to blow anyone off. I just okay. I, I don't want to get too specific with it. Okay, so we got some uh, sensitivity here, and I apologize. Uh, absolutely, and everyone understands. I'm certain of it. So we'll we won't answer any more military questions. We'll just allow you to be um, a singer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> Sam, they love you. They absolutely love you. Not yeah. Noel Jane Fishrich. Am I right? G said, "LOL." <laughs> yeah, he's like, "Yeah, don't put the man on the spot or nothing," because uh, you know he's your guest from Alaska. He's on your. He's making you look good on on a live stream. Yeah. Do you guys think that um, River Sun favors me? Can you see what I look like thirty years ago? Any UFO sightings out there in Alaska? Plenty, yes. Any you can talk about? Uh, yeah. I mean, I see a lot of aircraft, um, especially in the winter months uh, that I'm unable to identify. You've got those uh, northern lights up there in the wintertime yes, too, right? Yes, those are beautiful. The aurora. Okay. If you want to strum a little bit, we can get level checks. Oh, he's not nervous, KG Tropicals. Thank you very much, brother. You shouldn't have done all that. It looks good on our levels. Are you guys hearing that okay? says always good put the mic over there rack okay i can back up you can scoot up and i think we're gonna nail it john thanks for that <coughs> levels are good levels are good okay are you gonna sing one yeah i'm gonna attempt to what is it uh it's called uh what is it called <laughs> sing me it's a song that uh, I wrote the guitar part for, and uh, my dad wrote the uh, lyrics to. That was probably ten years ago. A little special time. Yeah. Thanks for letting me in your world. For Share sure. That yeah, that was a lot of fun. That was awesome. Yeah. I haven't. Uh, I haven't played this song in probably seven years. Tankers. First time in seven years. This is definitely a rehearsal, and I don't know many artists that would that would cave in and do this for you. So, yeah, all the love that you got for him would be. Now it's time to offer it. I guess is what I'm saying. <laughs> Singing me, 
Yeah, she's singing me Come, chorus, come Soaked with thirst Got it. <laughs> Just a sip of your sweet melody Peace and harmony Sing me Sing me peace and harmony Come chorus, come Chorus, come, come, chorus, come, come, chorus, Could hear their applause. I know they're <laughs> applauding. Yeah, thank <laughs> something you for like doing that. that. Yeah, I love for you, sure. Love you too. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need my onion peeling safety glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Good time. <laughs> that was awesome. You're amazing. Thank you for doing that. I can't read the chat now. So uh, yeah, look, they're clapping. <laughs> I'm very proud. No doubt about that. Uh, that was emotional. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking when we wrote that, you mm -hmm. know, where we were in life. Yeah. It was so good to do that. And in that chorus, you know, mm -hmm. it, sing me peace and harmony. Yeah. It's all we wanted. It's yeah. what we valued. Uh, and it's, it's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm probably not the only one crying right now. There's super chats rolling across the board, and I, honestly, I can't read them. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Um, it's beautiful. Yeah. So, thank you for doing that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I don't think we're ever going to be able to be together on a live stream and you not do that. <laughs> now, <Noted>. that <laughs> now that the rehearsal is done. Yeah. yeah. Music has brought us together. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think probably the the group that we've seen more times than any other group is the avett brothers mm -hmm. uh at a v e t t if anybody wants to check them out so yeah. what's the genre um alternative americana bluegrass country-ish um folk yeah a little bit of rock and roll yeah acoustic ish storytelling definitely yeah. singer songwriter Good stuff. Um, what was your favorite concert of theirs that we saw together? Oh, man. Um, favorite story for that was uh, the one we saw in Gatlinburg where you traded a pair of Chacos for your tickets. <laughs> Coolest thing I ever did in my 40s yeah. was trade a pair of Chacos, yeah. sandals, <laughs> for some Avett Brother tickets. Yeah. But I, I think my favorite was Red Rocks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely the most memorable concert was Red Rock. Oh, we got a red ribbon. Can, I can't read it. Can you read that? Yeah, that was from uh, Kaler's Aquatics. $100. <laughs> well worth it. Thanks, River, Sun, and Rack. That was uh, my man, Bob Kaler, keeping his word. Yeah. 100 smackers. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Kaler. I guess we can get you some gas money get yeah. you back to Alaska. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> yeah. And uh, who's that under? What's that yellow one? That is 
Allie Patton with Huge $10. Huge supporter. We love Allie. Yeah. The love for River Son from River Parents is oh. absolutely beautiful. Yeah. They do love me <laughs> quite well. Yeah. Yeah. It's our pleasure. River Son was the baby. Yeah. He has older sibs. Yeah. So he's always been pampered a little bit. I don't know if I'd say pampered. <laughs> it's a matter of perspective, isn't it? Maybe. <laughs> Well, this is an awesome, awesome time. It's it's eleven twenty. There's a bunch of you guys hanging out with us. We're gonna go for another ten minutes. And uh, this has probably been um, the best thing that's ever happened to me on YouTube. Mm. Yeah. So. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and, and I'll tell you, if there's a life metaphor here, it's I think that. People are not islands. Yeah. We're social creatures. We need each other. Sometimes more than other times. Yeah. And uh, when we create a space where we're comfortable sharing, mm -hmm. our our own benefits seem to increase. Yeah. So I believe that. It's happened often enough in my life that way that I believe it. So mm -hmm. that's what I share. That's my story. Yeah. That's my path. So... Yeah. And I, you know, I haven't ever considered myself a, a hard person, mm -hmm. but rigid, sure. you know, at times and doing things that um, maybe were more self gratifying. I, I, this is how I'll say it I've done things that were more consumptive mm -hmm. than contributive. Mm -hmm. And I've come to learn that when I contribute, I feel better. And I ger generate and earn more benefits from myself than when I consume. 100%, yes. You, are you there? Yeah. You, and you're a young man already that's there, true. so I think there's lots of happiness in your future, if, if that's true. It is true for me. Mm -hmm. It's not an if, but, you know, like everyone's different. Yeah. Everyone's doing their own thing, and that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Everybody do them. Yeah. And I'm, I'm saying... Orange things, that's when they just type my name. Okay. River Life, that's all I can see. So I see a bunch of hearts here. Who did that? The Zen Ginger. The Zen Ginger. Huge supporter. Thank you for that, Zen Ginger. Yeah. The board is still lit up with red. I can't believe that. You guys are amazing people. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that we have this time and this space to come together. And thank you mm -hmm. for, for joining us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what's it like to be on vacation? And your dad's off doing a live stream with a bunch of strangers. <laughs> it's uh, it's different. Yeah, uh, you didn't ever see this happening. No, <laughs> not in a million I was, years. I wasn't that cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were not. <laughs> I'm more of a millennial than you are. <laughs> I've got a YouTube channel. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you. Um, I guess the holidays or as good a time as any to be sentimental. Sure. And it, it hit me tonight. Yeah. Yeah. That John over there at KG Tropicals got the ball rolling, you know, he opened the floodgates. <laughs> and then, I mean, you can only stay on the edge for so long, you yeah. know, and you got to let them out again. Yeah. But it's with the glad heart. If you saw any tears come out from underneath these glasses, it's definitely not from sadness. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about you. You enjoy, what's your favorite activity? Uh, I would say my favorite recreational activity is fly fishing. Awesome. Um, yeah. Did you start that here or Alaska? I started that here back in 2010-ish. Yeah. Um, instantly loved it. I had I had fished my entire life with you um, and had loved that. That was my original love was pure fishing with you um, on the East Coast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, it's one of my most popular videos, how to tie pier rigs. Man, it just doesn't get any better than <laughs> sitting on a pier all day I waiting know, right? for fish to bite. And then identifying the species yeah, that comes up. Absolutely. Always and with respect and reverence yes, to the catch. Enjoying the beauty of it. Yeah. Um, if it can provide sustenance, then, yeah. then you're appreciative of it. If you that can bag it not. within the sports yes, limits. Yeah. 100%. Do you remember any of the aquariums that we had when you were a kid? Oh, gosh. I, I know that I don't remember all of them. Yeah. Um, but I think it would be impossible to. Hmm. Um, 
I do remember us having them though. Yes. Do you remember the salt water tank we had? That one does not. Well, that's perfect. It was not very memorable. (laughs) It was the largest fail. (laughs) It was a money pit. I I knew better than to try and do a small nano saltwater Mm -hmm. tank, but we couldn't afford a large, you know, you guys needed shoes, you're out growing (laughs) shoes, the the left foot outgrew before you got the right one tied, it was crazy. So I tried to do it on the cheap, I got a little aquarium and never did get that thing balanced. Mm. And and then at the end of it, it was a short period of time when we took it down, the salt and the water had to braise the glass on the tank so I couldn't use it for anything else. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, and I haven't revisited salt water since that experience. You know, yeah. some, some people are great at it. Mm-hmm. It just wasn't my thing. Yeah. Yeah. Understandable. Yeah. Well, then, so then I started really appreciating these people that keep African cichlids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because they, they're so brilliantly colored, they look like saltwater fish. Mm-hmm. But you can use your freshwater habits. What's that blue line? That is two dollars from Sand Creek Aquatics. Sand Creek Aquatics has been supporting lately. I appreciate that. Sand Creek Aquatics. Was there any note? Uh, Sometimes no. they say no okay. Note. Okay, cool. No. And any of those comments you want to read, feel free. Okay. Um, I know I saw one from uh what was our Hung Chow earlier. Hung, yeah. Uh, requesting that he be uh uh, noted for something other than his guppy salad since he contributed. So, um, so absolutely. Um, we're going to refer to um, Hung Chow. Now, th- let me tell you about Hung Chow. He's a great supporter. Mm-hmm. But one week he had to leave the chat early. And I don't blame him. Do you know why? No. To see the reveal of the Cybertruck. Oh, wow. And I was like, yeah, man, go. Yeah. Go check it out and come back and tell us. Definitely. And he was like, man, that thing is like the earth hasn't seen that thing yet. <laughs> yeah. It definitely is fast sitting still. Yeah. So, yeah, we could call um, Hung Chow. What would you call somebody like that? He's a he's a forerunner. He's out there. Mm-hmm. He's a, uh, a pathfinder. He's definitely a pathfinder, a ranger. Yeah. Yeah. He's a go-getter, a hard charger. He's mm-hmm. a leader. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're, we're going to stay in that vein for you, Hung Chow. No problem. Yeah. This is definitely where you belong. I think you got us with that the shock value of your eating habits. <laughs> but we're past that now. Yeah. We've moved on. Did, you picked up one of these guitar picks to play with. I did. Do you know why they're here? Uh, they're the Project Piaba fish colors. Oh, nice. Yeah, and I started making uh, art mobiles. Oh yeah, with the guitar picks. So yes, you did. These, it was great that I had these here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but that was that was for a different project. Mm-hmm. And when I I kind of hung them sideways, and I've shown them to the guys here in the chat a couple of times, and every now and then, so is that a guitar pick? <laughs> yep, it sure is. <laughs> That's the way we roll around here. Yeah. Well, let's see. What does it? What's the time right here? Eleven twenty-eight. It's eleven twenty-eight. I'm gonna have to look at my notes here because we're shutting down at eleven thirty, so we can go over to see Chris. We gotta have a hashtag. Oh man, that shouldn't be legal. <laughs> Speaking of legal, totally legal was my thumbnail. Did you guys like the way I rocked that metadata? <laughs> Goldfish planted tank, totally legal. Thank you guys. A thousand views? Are you kidding me? That doesn't happen on the River Life channel. They've already nice. watched that thing a thousand times. That's awesome. Totally legal. Okay, uh, coming up. Um, oh, I've got a school question for you real quick on our way out here. What was one of the first ornamental fish available to Western aquarium keepers thanks to an import to France in 1869? One of the first ornamental fish. Do you guys know this? Q Aquatics. Somebody said Q Aquatics. She's awesome. She got recognized on John's list, too. She's a friend of mine that Riverwife and I have met at a couple of fish conventions. Mm-hmm. Works really hard. She has a macaw. I remember you talking about Q Aquatics. Yeah, she, uh, I'm a big uh, bird watcher, mm-hmm. and she's got a beautiful macaw. Ann Thornton is from across the pond. She says, that tank was gorgeous. Thank mm-hmm. you. Really dramatic and different. Yeah, I, I just kind of went for it. We'll see how it works. Mm-hmm. Anybody know that fish, one of the first aquarium fish? It, was, it wasn't it was Zen Ginger. It wasn't a koi. 
wasn't Betta's. Could have been, though. It's related to a Betta in a way. It was uh, the paradise fish. Mm. And so it was pretty. So they were catching these pretty fish, and they, the shipping method was by ship. Mm-hmm. And so um, these paradise fish can breathe air. They've got a labyrinth organ, so they yeah. could breathe air from the surface. Yeah. Whereas other fish, without getting oxygen, it's a long trip. Mm-hmm. So because it survived, it became popular. So it was the paradise fish. We can say we talked about something educational here tonight. And I, it's 11.30. I'm going to turn the lights off here rather abruptly. But I do want to say that I love every one of you guys so much. Thanks. I see some people talking to Dr. Black 66. Good to see you in here, buddy. Um, we're going to shut her down tonight, but we'll be back next week. I've got a video coming up on Tuesday. Congratulations to uh, James Hand, the winner of the the best Christmas gifts for an Aquarius giveaway. Will you hold that? Mm-hmm. And thank you all very much for watching over a thousand times already the totally legal goldfish planted tank. All right, that's going to do it for tonight. Peace, love, and fish on. You guys stay in the tank and get your fish on. I can't thank you enough. I wish there were more words, but I really enjoyed you hanging out with me in River Sun tonight. You want to say good night? Yeah, good night, everyone. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> You'll come back and see us? Oh, absolutely. All right. So long, guys.